Hello, hello! So a question I get a lot in the comment section of my videos is, Evan, how do I become a YouTuber? I feel like I already answered that question five years ago. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to become successful on YouTube. As you can see from that terrible video from five years ago, you don't have to be amazing when you start. You're going to be bad. You don't even have to have graphics that'll blow your mind, okay? <laughs> so if you are still keen to be a YouTuber, you've come to the right place. I've been on YouTube for so long, I've seen the YouTube algorithm go through so many changes. I'm the perfect person to talk to. Here I am, I'm gonna be teaching you how to be a YouTuber. Oh no. Oh. Rule number one, don't kick the tripod because it ruins everything. I should have tried harder. <laughs> now I thought I'd start off with the most important tip I can give you, which is to be consistent. If you want to be a YouTuber, you have to commit. If you're gonna say I'm gonna make a video every Sunday, make a video every Sunday. It's the least you can do. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Like if you're gonna go around telling people that you're a baseball player, but you never play games and you don't really practice often, what are you doing? In terms of being consistent, don't do it for the fact that people will go back to your channel on certain days of the week looking for videos. Don't do it because you know the YouTube algorithm will actually favor your channel if you're consistent. Do it for yourself. Set yourself a challenge. If you say, I'm going to become a YouTuber, you need to adhere to that. Commit. Make the videos at least whenever you say you will make a video. To commit to being a YouTuber, you have to be consistent. And if I say that any more times, I'll be very consistent at it. So, I'm, I'm, it's working. The five fundamentals of a video are the content, the lighting, the audio, the lens, and the camera. Content comes first. What are you interested in? What do you want to talk about? Talk about what interests you. Are you a funny person? Be funny. Are you a musical person? Be musical. The number one thing people look for in a YouTuber is their personality, so I cannot stress this enough but be yourself. You may feel like you have to put on a different personality or put on a different voice just to talk in front of a camera, but that's not true. For instance, with me, I'm mostly the same exact person that you'll meet in real life that I am on the camera. The only difference is that I'm a bit louder when I talk to a camera. It's like, hey guys, how's it going? Hey guys, how's it going? Like, that's basically it. And if that's it, I can live with that. People subscribe to you because they like you for you. They don't subscribe to you because they like you for who you're pretending to be. The next up of importance is lighting. Lighting is incredibly important to a YouTube video. Watch any of your favorite vloggers and you'll always notice one thing. They're always really well lit. And usually they use soft boxes. Right now I have two soft boxes on me, but when you start, you might not have the budget for that sort of thing. So I would highly recommend just use natural lighting. For instance, I have a window over there and he's letting in some natural lighting. So I'm filming in during the day. However, if you don't have soft boxes as well, face the window, let the window light come in towards you and you can just use that. The one negative with natural lighting is that if the lighting changes, if a cloud covers the sun, that's gonna be noticeable but that really doesn't matter in the long run. You're just trying to start YouTubing, so don't worry about it. Eventually, you can upgrade, invest in some soft boxes, which may do some light damage to your wallet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next up, before we even talk about cameras, is audio. Buying a good microphone is always a sound investment. I can't even say these in the straight face. Now most DSLRs and cameras nowadays come with an onboard microphone, but that microphone quality is usually really poor and it picks up a lot of the sound of the room and it's a bit tame. Most of my first videos were filmed on a very small compact camera with a very terrible microphone that sounded like this. You can, you know, somewhat use it. Yeah, it was just terrible. It was terrible. And right now, I'm talking to you on the onboard microphone. Whereas right now, I'm talking to you on the microphone that I purchased. As you can tell, audio is very, very, very important. Now as a pro tip for when you're editing, when you get to the final draft of your video and you're like, I can't wait to upload this to YouTube, what I want you to do is close your eyes and listen to the video from start to finish. If you find that there's a lot of silences and a lot of gaps between your clips, what I want you to do is just edit that out. Edit the audio clips over top of each other so they flow into each other. You'll probably have noticed that with the way that I speak. It's not like, hey guys, how's it going? It's, Hey guys, how you going? Like the, the clips automatically are smooth and it makes it look like you know how to edit videos. I want the video to be appealing to my ears and my eyes. Audio is very important to video, so make sure you edit it well. Now that we're getting a bit lower on the priority list, the next up is the lens. If you're ever wondering, how does that YouTuber have such a beautiful face? Well, that's just their face. However, you might notice that their background is very blurry. That's all on the lens. If you get a really nice lens with a very low f-stop, you're going to get those shots. As long as you know how to use the camera lens. I personally shoot with a Sigma f1.8 18-35mm, which means when the camera is focused on my face, everything behind me is incredibly blurry. We also have the lights in the background that produce a nice blur, little bokeh's there. And that's why, if you notice, most YouTubers you love watching, they'll have a very large room they're filming in, so that way there's a nice depth of field and a lot of blur. Now, I know a lot of big YouTubers that have bought really nice lenses and have come to me like, Evan, I don't understand. I bought this really nice lens. Why is there anything working? As a general, very simple rule of thumb, if you want to have good shots, lower the f-stop as low as you can. The f-stop is just a number that represents the aperture, so mine goes down to 1.8. That is where it will stay. That way, it's incredibly nice on me and incredibly blurry in the to back. To put it simply, if you don't want your viewers to stop watching, lower your f-stop. Yeah. 
And the last thing on the priority list, which may surprise some of you, is the camera body. Because as long as you've got good lighting, as long as you've got good content, and as long as you've got good audio, the camera doesn't matter as much. You're really helping yourself before you even turn on the camera. However, if you don't have a very big budget, you can just film with an iPhone. You can buy a cheap point-and-shoot camera. The G7X is a nice, easy camera that if you want to start with, you can use that. However, I would highly recommend the camera that I started with, which literally almost every video I've ever filmed that's still public on my channel was filmed with this, and that's a Canon 600D. About a month ago, I recently upgraded to the Canon 70D, which is amazing because look, oh my god, video autofocus. It focuses no matter where I am, and that's basically why I made the upgrade, but you don't need that at first. Go for the 600D, or if you're a fan of Nikon, what are you doing here? Why? So now that you've got everything set up, we come back to content. What are you going to make? What is it you're going to do? Well, you'll never know unless you make things. The more that you make, the easier it gets. You'll never find your niche unless you constantly create and then you find out who you kind of are online. I had no clue what my niche was for the first three to four years on YouTube and then someone just thrust it upon me. Puns, seems that I'm good at that and other people like it. Fine, I can take that. I've always loved puns and now that's my thing. So literally just film anything and learn from your mistakes and also watch other YouTubers and learn from their editing styles. Take some of their editing styles and incorporate them into your own. And then eventually after taking this from this person, this from this person, you'll develop your own sense of style on the internet and then you'll keep making things and constantly learn. One thing about being a YouTuber is always improving your style. If you watch any of your favorite YouTubers old videos, you'll notice the quality isn't there because they learned. Everyone learns and gets better at what they're doing. No one starts playing baseball as a famous baseball player. I don't know any famous baseball players. Jackie Robinson? What the, why am I using baseball now? You're not going to start drumming and magically turn into Josh Dunn, okay? It takes a lot of practice. Once you're confident with your videos, go to a YouTube gathering. Become friends with YouTubers. Make videos with YouTubers. But do not collab just for collab's sake. If you're thinking of making collab with someone, it should be because you're like, man, I really like this person's videos, and I really have this really cool idea for my channel where they'd be on it. That's awesome. That's the stuff that your viewers will want to see. Never take your viewers for granted because they are intelligent human beings that are very, very smart and they're going to see you're not even friends with that guy. You're just filming to try and get them views, man. That hashtag sup for sup, not happening. Treat your viewers with respect because without them, you will be nowhere. And one last thing, before you end your video, always make sure to remind people, please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it right down there. Also, be sure to subscribe because I make new videos every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this has helped you and I hope to see a lot of you become YouTubers someday. I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. <laughs>